these characters are archetypes. And the emotional resonance, the, 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 the relationships they have with one another, and uh, um, it, it's really the main thing that makes the movies work. It's the main thing that makes any movie work. The visuals are incredible and the action's great and um, and all of that would be fun to experience, but it wouldn't it wouldn't last or have the same impact if you didn't really care about the characters. One of the things that I really have always liked about Ant Man and our films is that uh, it really is about kind of parental and th these relationships, family relationships, and you know Scott Lang is a father and and that puts him in, you know, I mean, I guess with Hawkeye as well, but he, there, not many of those characters are parents. Um, and so we get to focus on, on that. And that was something that I always thought would kind of play through Scott Lang's uh, character and story in both of the films. I think Thanos is a really complex, amazing, uh, uh, antagonist because like any good villain when I you know when I saw Infinity War I thought like what he's saying you can see the logic you know that that it's uh, sure maybe he's a psychopath but uh, you know it's like at its heart he there's something that you can sympathize with um, and I think Brolin does a great job at playing kind of a, a, a powerful character. A powerful character. Uh, he, he's perfectly cast as somebody that you think like, wow, he just exudes a kind of strength and poise. Uh, and he brings that to Thanos and it's, you know, when you've got this many uh, amazing heroes fighting you, you better be a pretty formidable opponent and um, and you need a pretty formidable actor to play somebody like that. And so Josh, I think really, you know, hit a 